Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crop guy. It's August 28th, and um, we've had a, a dry spell here in Jasper County, and I'm in a field of popcorn. And what I wanted to show here is the power of the earthworm. So here's a dried down leaf from a corn plant, and what I'm going to do here is pull on it. And it's actually down into the ground. And this is called an earthworm midden. So it's kind of like their house. And here you have this nice soil with nice aggregate, nice round nodules that are actually basically worm poop. And this stuff is known to be three to four times as rich as the soil around it after it passes through a worm. And what earthworms are are really your soil engineers. I and mean, then as I pull this apart, um, I'm pulling the residue out of where the worm has come up out of the ground and grabbed that residue and pulled it down and started to digest it. You can actually see right, um, right there is the hole where the night crawler, this would be a night crawler hole. Um, the red worms and those surface worms don't actually make um, middens like this. But these night crawlers can go four or five feet deep and um, just wanted to show that there's a house, there's a house, there's a house, there's a house. So those earthworms, if you can keep them happy, they'll do your soil engineering, your soil tillage for you um, throughout the cropping season and especially in the spring and fall when it's a little cooler and there's moist conditions. Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop. Guy, the benefits of disturbing the soil less and keeping it covered and keeping your earthworms and soil biology happening breaking down residue.